Good morning, guys. Today, we're going to have a double upload because I went to bed pretty early, and apparently the first Scarlet and Violet EX cards are revealed, and look, well, that's our Gen 9 base set, meaning whatever mechanics are going to be introduced here. We saw the Pokemon EX mechanic introduced at the World Championships, we we're going to be seeing moving forward. So, anyway, we're just going to jump right into it. Set's going to release in Japan on January 20th. We have no US release date yet. Looks like this is the Packard Coridon and Mi Rhydon. Um, if you've played the games, you understand what's going on here, but if you haven't played the games, I I don't think the spoiler window's up yet, so I would highly recommend playing the games. They were really good. Um, basically, we're revisiting the EX mechanic, um, and this time around, from like not like 2012 or something, we have to evolve our EXs all the way up. Now, Terrastalize is a new mechanic in VGC as well as the games, so we're going to have it in ours as well. What does this mean? Pokemon with the Terrastal effect don't take damage from attacks when they're on the bench. This is seen on Arcanine EX. Well, I didn't know there was an Arcanine. That's kind of dope. Its artwork is also crystallized to show it's Terrastalized. So it's got Bench Barrier, which is... Okay, whatever. Let's see. Let's see if there's any other cool Terrastalized. So these are the cards that have been leaked so far. We've got a small if, um, 30 HP, nothing... Or 30 attack, nothing crazy. Growlithe, Stoke, two basic fires attached them to your Pokemon, shuffle your deck. Nothing crazy either here. Arcanine EX, the Terrastalized mechanic here is sh shown um, with the with the art style. Look kind of like jumping out of the card. Um, doesn't take any damage while on bench. Maybe each Terrastal is different, by the way. Maybe this Terrastal for Arcanine is just bench barrier, but we'll see um, as we move forward. Raging Claws, two fires, 30 plus 10 for each damage count on this Pokemon, so you can kind of mitigate the damage as you want. 280 HP is a lot for a stage one, actually. It's basically just a VMAX, but it does give up two prizes as well. Three fires for 250, discard two from this Pokemon. That's pretty strong as well. Um, this is actually a pretty good fire attacker, I think. And we haven't had a good one in a while, so. Magnezone EX was revealed at the World Championships, if you guys watched that. If you didn't, well, you're going to see it again. Stage two, 330 HP, Lightning Energy Cost 50, times each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Punishes a lot of decks for having a lot of energy on board, but I don't know how good that is. For two Lightnings, 200 does 32 itself. Looks like a lot of these EX Pokemon are going to be reliant on using one energy type and full copies of that energy type as opposed to colorless so far from what we've seen. Um, and it's two prize cards as well when knocked out. Uh, Palmy has also been revealed. This guy's a little cutie. Uh, Palmy, Palmot, and I, I forgot. No, Palmy, Palmo, and Palmot are the three. Um, cute little guys. Uh, in the in the gen, we've got Miride on EX as well here revealed 220 HP basic um, tandem unit once in your turn. You may search your deck for two basic lightning, put them on your bench, then shuffle your deck. That's pretty insane. Just a free search for two. So opening Miride on guarantees you finding your other Miride ons or finding your Magnemites in this instance or whatever other lightning attackers you want. Lightning, lightning, colorless, photon blaster 220. During your next turn, this Pokemon can attack. That's a pretty hefty cost for 220. Um, considering we have no lightning acceleration in format, I think, but it's interesting to see that the usually base set cards are a little bit underpowered compared to what we get. Coridon EX is fighting type here, and um, we're going to have him have ability Dino Cry. Once during your turn, you may attach up to two basic fighting cards from your discard to your basic fighting Pokemon any way you like. If you use this ability, your turn ends. So turn one, you can pop off, discard a lot of cards, set up some sort of Dino Cry play, and just have a bunch of energies on your board. So he's acting as an energy accelerant, as well as his attack, fighting, fighting colors, wild impact 220. And you can't attack next turn. Same thing. <clears throat> then we have Lechonk revealed as well. I don't know if you guys saw this guy. He's a little pig of the generation. He's a homie. Repulsive Stench uh, switches, whatever. And then we've got the researchers. I knew I was pretty confident this would happen. Where like Turo and Sada, the two professors from this generation, would come as um, like a research effect. And you can see here also we're hitting the G letter in rotation block, um, meaning this will be yeah we're hitting G. So D is gonna rotate I think. And we're going to have EFG starting next year. So it makes sense how the rotation works. Ultra Ball is back as well. That's a pretty big one to continue having in our format. Um, I know Quick Ball is gone, so I don't know if that'll be back in our base, on this base set as well. Uh, Beach, Beach Court, one of the first stadiums in this block. Uh, the retreat cost of each player's basic is colorless less. That's pretty decent. It's just uh, Sky Arrow Bridge, I think, from old school days. And Beach Court's pretty good. Um, we have the Sprigatito, uh, the starter. Nothing crazy here. Rayo Luke, nothing crazy here. Lucario EX, one of the ones that was, I think, also revealed prior. Uh, Fighting Colorless, Low Kick, 60 damage. 260 HP is a lot still. These EX are pretty beefy. Fighting Fighting Colorless, 160, and is 50 of one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's pretty strong as well, in my opinion. A um, lot of damage. Very strong. Can work with the Coridon deck. 
uh, pretty well. Foy Coco, this guy's got no thoughts, just empty. Mareep, nothing crazy. Another Flaffy, pretty good. And we've got an Ampharos EX as well being revealed here. 330 HP, stage 2. Lightning, Elect Ball, 60. Lightning, Colors, Colors, 140. Discard 2 if you do 100 more. So 240 max on this guy over here without any modifiers. That's pretty strong, I think. Um, so far, I think we've not observed that nothing actually one-shots each other besides the 220 HP guys, the basics. So that's kind of interesting. Quaxley, he's vibing. Um, Mimic QEX is another one that's been revealed here. 190 HP basic. Void return 30, switch it with your bench Pokemon. Psychic Colors, Colors 30 for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. This seems like a little bit of a sunk cost fallacy. I don't, I don't think this card will be very good. Okay. Nimona is our classic rival in this game, if you guys haven't played it, like I said. Uh, draw 3, it's the hop effect. I wish this Battle Junkie would get something better, but I knew that this would be a, a card. Um, Cyclozar EX is the promo um, for getting Certed X. Cyclozar EX is... Um, Basic 210, power run 30, search your deck for a basic attack to this Pokemon. Triple colors, full throttle 180, this Pokemon can't attack next turn. So, basics seem to have a big strong attack. The big guys have to have a big strong attack as well with some drawback or some beef up. But, um, so far I haven't seen any EX that is impressive, more impressive than a V-Star. So, we'll see how this format gets impacted moving forward. Let me know in the comments below what card you guys are more excited for. Um, I'm just excited for the English release whenever this is out. Uh, it's going to be cool to see some of my more favorite Pokemon, like Gimme Ghoulon cards. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Sorry, my voice is whatever. I literally just woke up and saw this. So, um, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later.